Well, could we be seeing multiple Black Panthers in the sequel? Uh, indications point to yes, so... I mean, we saw multiple in the first one. Yeah. Sweet. So why not? They just give just give me like a history of the Black Panther movie. Yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> like putting like Neanderthal Black Panther and then like give me Shuri and do that. What's it? Because we can probably see Shuri in the in Avengers Four anyway as a Black Panther. If there's a time jump. That's yeah. if she won. I see, suppose. that's exactly what I was thinking of. It's like, what if we see her? It's like, what if there's two Black Panthers being like, look, one's got to stay around here, but you can't be everywhere, so someone else has to suit up at some point. I'd be like. All right, that's that's cool, and also it gives you that whole like Black Panther as this character. It's a that can do that because of the whole we saw him in the you know eternal plane and everything. Like he's talking to his ancestors. I was like, oh, so there's all these other Black Panthers. Like it, it opens up that entire world, and just having Shuri also take up that mantle would be like, yeah, she can do it. She can hold her own. She doesn't have to be a sidekick yeah. character, you know. It, you could also make a really interesting second movie out of that. It's mm-hmm. like, look, you were dead for insert how many year time jump here. I'm queen of Wakanda now. Like, yeah. Just because you're back, don't mean I'm getting off. So, like, you know, you've had your chance. Move along, and then. I mean, it could play that because I just believe even in her run, the Panther Goddess does not like her at all. Yeah, I, I don't know how. We'd have to see Bast actually. We probably could get Bast in the second one, mm. but. Because that, that was the whole that was the whole thing that revolved around that friction of you know who is Black Panther is it T'Challa or is it his sister, and then the Panther Goddess is backing T'Challa because for some reason she uh, the Panther Goddess does not like his sister at all. Well, I mean Shuri in the comics is an absolute bitch. <laughs> so that's probably why like, yeah. I don't like Shuri in the comics. So I, don't, I can't blame Bass at all. So you know maybe you could make her into more of that kind of a character in the sequel from that way. But I think people like what Letitia Wright's done and make, like, the whole bubbly Shuri. So I don't know if they'll change it and go that way, but you can kind of maybe hint at something I, like I mean, if they could, if, it, if, it, if they did do the time jump and she started to get yeah. more hardened because she had to take on everything on her own. That, so that would just, be actually, yeah. Make her resent the child of her dying or dusting. No. It, make, it would make for a good conflict and also that, like, brother sister relationship would really come into play and because for t'challa hypothetically maybe no time is like went by maybe he just shows up and he feels like it was yesterday that's, and he's like oh that's what i'm thinking it's going to be like oh they've essentially been stuck in time mm-hmm. for the last eight, eight years yeah and it also it, it helps it keeps that like the panther movie personal yeah and it keeps the political aspect of everything and you know you don't have to use a villain because how many villains does Black Panther have now that are alive? Uh, one. One. I mean, there's always Ulysses. Oh. <laughs> dang. <laughs> there's always name. Oh, no. Oh, dang. <laughs> oh. Um, could you use Man Ape? Oh, no, they made him a good guy. Uh, I guess they're going to have to. It's going to have to be a bigger. I feel like that if T'Challa, uh, you know, doesn't come back and there's this time jump, maybe people are like, oh. The king is gone, so she does have to take on this rule. She does have to be a more stern leader and defend, like, you know, Wakanda from certain forces. And suddenly, maybe it becomes the world versus Wakanda type of scenario. And T'Challa comes back, he's like, whoa, um, what has (laughs) happened here, you know? What are you doing? (laughs) Calm down. This is what Killmonger wanted. Yeah, oh, God. No, it'll be be really... I'd actually really like to see this Shuri become a bit more of a bitch. Same. A bit like, more I'll... resentful to that having to be on the throne. Yeah, and use the evolution of the character to tell her like that, because as fun as she is in the first movie, maybe do a little bit of that in a second, but at some point, the character's got to get older and grow up and realize what's happening around the world, right? Yeah. So it's like, well, it's only one way to do Plus, it. Like, Letitia writes in her 20s and she's playing a 16-year-old, so she's going to age out of that eventually anyway. So let's let's jump ahead of that and use it for a narrative purpose. Well, see, I'm glad you bring that up because, um, you know, there was, like, the CW show, The 100, which they were all playing, like, 18-year-olds, and they were all clearly 28. So this last Oof. season, yeah, this last season, they actually do a six-year time jump in between, like, two scenes. And it's like, oh, and now everybody can actually be around the age they are. I'm like... 
you know what? This finally actually works because they don't have to act like 16 year olds anymore. It's like, I would actually appreciate that. Like that's some of my hope for Spider-Man as well. It's like they have to, you can't always have them being young and naive or just everything is for fun. At some point, the weight of the world has to kind of show some bearing on you. So, you know, mm. let's use that as a thrust to these characters and where they go. And if she has to be a Black Panther or something, that's that's cool. That's more than welcoming. And they've even discussed recently, like, doing a all-female, like, maybe Wakanda team-up movie. I'd be like, oh, hell yeah. Like, you got some great yeah, well, characters in there. My God. It's... Why not? As, as long as they're alive. No, that's true. Half, of them, half of them are dusty at the minute. <laughs> also, can T'Challa stop foreshadowing stuff? Yeah. Because he says he never freezes, but he freezes in his own movie. And he's like, Thanos will find nothing but blood and dust. It's like, shush! Stop, <laughs> you're, you're killing everyone. <laughs> Galactus is only going to find peace and happiness here. <laughs> now we just wait for peace and happiness. Letting come, we hunger. Just like, oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's like, T'Challa, shush. <laughs> you're terrible at this. But the only thing with like Shuri taking over Black Panther is that is that kind of doing Bozeman and Charles as a character a bit of an injustice. So like you've had one movie now set aside, like you won. Mm-hmm. Uh, it'll be unless you, I suppose then you go back to the whole oh just have them both be Black Panthers. Why not? The simple title change for the third one. You just put an S at the end. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Would work honestly. There's. All I know is I want this franchise to be like the new Iron Man and like the leading the MCU, and I think it will. And it it's just very exciting, which way they could just take this. There's so much they can do. It's I can't wait for more Black Panther. Honestly, that's that's what I'm trying to say. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, but Feige, make sure you make sure you Black Panther and not Rui Williams. For the love of Christ, don't do that. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of it's a, it's a bit dodgy, but agreed.